Okay, so we are entering the Adimali Spice Garden. Okay, it is really squishy. So, unfortunately, we do not have a guide with us, so we cannot uh, tell you what spices these are. But there are names on it. So it will give you a gist of what plants it is. See here you can see some pepper. Those are your peppercorns. Here. This is the vanilla creeper. Then you have red sandal. There that tall plant. And then you have something known as a bone setter. Oh, you have the wintergreen plant. Now, wintergreen oil is what is used in your pain relief balms and uh, your things like iodex. So, it is really, really good for all pains, all kinds of pains. Here, see, you can see all the peppercorns. It is beautiful. Oh, sorry. Here you have something known as the Orilla. I do not know what Orilla is, but yeah. Ginger. Okay, so this is the ginger plant. Now this video might be a little shaky because I am not focusing on the screen but I am rather focusing on the ground which is really squishy and slippery because of the rains. Uh, I cannot read the name on this but it's Arya something. Here you can check out the name. These are the plants. Here there's another one. Oh, there is a paradise tree. Munna needs it right now. Yes, Krishna Tulsi, the best that you can get. mini waterfall here and right next to it is Alpam. Oh, there's something known as a Rambal. I have no idea what that is. Here you have Koruveli, Brahmi. Okay, for all those who you do not know, if you have hair fall, this is what you go to. Arutha, Satavari, and Aloe Vera. There, where is Aloe Vera? I cannot see it. You cannot see it because of the shrubs. But that thorny little thing is aloe vera. 
you also have asaphodita or as indians call it hing there are fishes over here for some fish farming lots and lots of them play fishies here there and there this is your lemon grass that makes every tea taste 25000 times better and insulin i didn't even know insulin was a plant but okay i do not know what this plant does though obviously very different from our normal insulin and i think with this we come to an end of our spice garden tour so if you are ever in munnar or like me you cannot reach munnar and are stuck somewhere then please 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 do visit this really beautiful spice garden uh, the spice garden is about 1 and 1/2 kilometers from adimali town and uh, right next to the spice garden is also a shop where you can pick up these spices that they grow right here so i hope you enjoyed this video and this is me signing off the budget indian oh and i forgot to mention this spice garden tour is completely and absolutely free unlike the other ones so if you are on a tight budget like i am right now because of the floods this is really really great so here signing off toodles